All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, the Los Angeles Lakers. Congratulations on winning the 2023 NBA Finals. Russell Westbrook was officially traded and they got one sexy ass haul. Here are the details. The Lakers acquire D'Angelo Russell, Jared Vanderbilt, and Malik Beasley. Ship out Russell Westbrook. I love you, Russ, so much. I wish you the best of luck. But if you were on the Lakers, the Lakers aren't going to win anything. Let's just keep it a buck. A lightly protected 2027 first round pick. Damian Jones, Juan Toscano Anderson are headed to the Jazz. And the first round pick from the Lakers to Utah in 2027 is protected 1 to 4. Some nice little. Uh, I uh, can't think of a word. It doesn't matter. The Wolves will acquire Mike Conley, Nikhil Alexander-Walker, and a second-round pick for the Lakers. So, so far, we have a win-win. And the Jazz acquire Russell Westbrook, who will definitely be bought out, as well as the 2027 first-rounder from the Lakers. Now, if we're just being real here, every team just won this trade. But to be specific with you, the Lakers just won this trade, and it's not even close. All right? When you have the NBA's all-time leading scorer on your roster, and you have, when healthy, no rebuttal. There can be no discussion against this. When Anthony Davis is healthy, he is a top 10 player in the NBA, undisputed. He is one of the best two-way players in the entire league, and all they need him to do is just be healthy for the next two months. What was the Lakers' biggest issue oof, outside of Russell Westbrook come playoff time? It was shooting. It was shooting and possibly depth. Now, some guys have really stepped up. You know, I really loved Max Christie. I love AR-15. You know, AR-15 especially is still going to have an impact on this squad. Thomas Bryant has been a refreshing breath of fresh air. Didn't make much sense, but it doesn't even matter. Emotions are through the roof right now. This is awesome. You know, on my NBA show every single day, and it was getting annoying, I was saying, you have to trade Russ. I get it. There will be nights like last night where he scores, what, 25 points, shot like 4 or 7 from downtown, did have 6 turnovers. But when you watch the Lakers play teams like the Boston Celtics as opposed to you know the up-and-coming Oklahoma City Thunder, they don't have too many rim protectors. They're very, very, very young and they're exceeding expectations. So no disrespect to Oklahoma City. But you know, watching a game where Russ goes up against the Thunder or against you know a team like the Celtics... They're going to let him shoot any shot he wants. And once you get into the seven games series, that means a lot. Because as good as Russell Westbrook is, he's not going to beat you single-handedly by shooting in a seven-game series. So they're just going to crash. The defense is going to crash. There's just so many different factors that go into playoff Russell Westbrook as opposed to regular season Russ. And like I said, we all love him. You know, I don't think there's anybody actually out there who doesn't respect and want Russell Westbrook to win. I am extremely curious to see what team he ends up going to. Then you have the Wolves who acquire Mike Conley and NAW, which it's I I think it's in their best interest. You know, I know D'Angelo Russell's on, you know, he's been playing a lot better in the last couple of weeks, but when Carl Anthony Towns comes back, is he your best option for making a playoff run? Probably not, as opposed to Mike Conley. You know, just probably not. Now, the Lakers are a little bit different because, you know, they have LeBron James. They have Anthony Davis. They have scorers in Lonnie Walker. They have now depth. And more importantly, they have shooting. This team desperately needed shooting. You know, there are some guys who can definitely make shots. LeBron last night, for example. But, you know, Pat Bev can shoot it. Schroeder can shoot it. You know, Thomas Bryan's been stroking it nicely. But getting a cat like Malik Beasley and D'Angelo Russell, who doesn't need to be a number one option, he doesn't need to be a number two option, it's the difference. It really is the difference. And then you throw in a jack of all trades in Jared Vanderbilt, and this is the best possible deal you could possibly imagine. You know, I'm a Bulls fan. MJ is my guy, but I got to call a spade a spade. The Lakers just did a phenomenal trade here. You know, they really did a phenomenal trade. And the best part is every single team wins. You know, when you dive into it, Mike Conley, Malik Beasley, and Jared Vanderbilt, they don't have a future in Utah, right? They don't have a future in Utah. So everybody wins here. It is a phenomenal trade. You got to give respect where respect is given. So A plus for all three teams, or at least at the very worst, A's for all three teams. That's it for today. Hit the like button, hit that sub button for more. We're not even going to edit this video because this is 
awesome, man.